Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Andre Battles of I Battle Daily Ministries. You know, we go through trying times in this life. We go through experiences that don't make sense to us. Looking at things from our own human reasoning, looking at things from an angle of common sense, some things would seem automatic or just like ABC. Yet, life has a way of making things that seem easy difficult. It has a way of making things that should be automatic difficult. You guys are very familiar with my story and familiar with my situation. And for those of you that are not, September the 8th of 2017, I lost my leg uh, due to just a hard life, diabetes, uh, diabetic and ulcer, becoming infected, and uh, my leg was amputated in September of last year. Now, while in the hospital last September, we applied for Social Security. And with that application, we had hope that I would not be denied, that I would receive you know, the funds that we had hoped for. Well, brothers and sisters, if you have followed my story, if you had followed this ministry since that time, you know that in February of this year, 2018, I got a letter in the mail from Social Security stating that my claim was denied. With resolve and with faith, we went ahead and we appealed the case, but this time we got a lawyer to back us up. And with that lawyer, we felt that we would succeed. Now, of course, the lawyer is a man. Man can do but so much. But we put our trust and faith in God as well. And so about a month and a half ago, we had an appeals uh, court date. Uh, and it seemed as if things were going in my favor. We talked with the lawyer. The lawyer and I went and had the appeal uh situation in court in front of the judge we answered questions i remember getting out of court and the judge or rather the lawyer said to me this seems like a slam dunk situation and i was overjoyed thinking in my heart that you know what maybe this time we will go ahead and get the funds that we so desperately need i get a phone call about 30 minutes ago not even 30 minutes ago and it is my lawyer and he's telling me that uh, I have bad news. And I don't have to go any further from there. But there's a testimony in this. There's a story here. I can think about Bible characters, specifically Joseph, having a dream, having been told in a dream that he would be a great man. Because essentially the dream the way that it went down, it, 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 it showed future events. Although he didn't know what that it all meant, although he didn't understand how it would all come to pass, he knew somehow that he was meant to be a great man. Then, right after he's having these dreams, he gets sold off into slavery, into Egypt, by his own brothers. Could you imagine the pain and the frustration and disbelief what will become of my dreams now? I can imagine him saying that. But we know the end of the story, brothers and sisters. We know the end of the story. Joseph became basically the second most powerful man in the world at that known time. We can look at people like David. David being anointed as the next king of Israel. And with him being anointed the next king of Israel, the promise that he would become the monarch or the king of the throne was intact with that promise, but he was running from for his life from King Saul. He wasn't able to see the proclamation of the promise right away. And he was even hiding in caves, brothers and sisters, because he feared for his life. Yet, we know the end of the story. He received that which was promised to him. I can look at Jesus Christ coming to this earth. 
realizing that at the end of my course, at the end of all of this suffering, all of this pain, all the temptations, that you and I, brothers and sisters, would have an opportunity to have a crown of life. So he suffered through the here and now so that he could get you and I to be with him later. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what you're going through. Like I just told you, I've been denied a social security claim for the second time. But what is the lesson here for you and I, brothers and sisters? What is the lesson that I need to glean from this? That I am going to praise God anyhow. Not yet have I not been able to pay my rent. Not yet have I not been able to pay my car note. Not yet have I not had food on my table. Now, I may not have had extra to do the little things I want to do to maintain. Praise God, I'm still able to survive. We may not have the things that we want. And in life, we may wonder why do things happen? Why do negative things take place? But brothers and sisters, I am here to tell you, I'm a living witness. If no one ever tells you, remember, brother, battles told you. Trouble don't last always. And in fact, we're supposed to rejoice in the midst of our suffering. We are told that we are to rejoice in the midst of our temptations even. We are to rejoice in the midst of our trouble. Why? Because Christ is in control and Christ is on the throne and he sits high and looks low and he will handle your business. I don't know what you're going through. You may have been denied a social security claim too. You may not have had the opportunities to do things that you wanted to do. You may not have had the ability in which to do that which you wanted. You may have had people talking negative upon you your entire life. You may be in a situation where you don't know where the money is going to come from to pay your next bill. You might be in a situation where you don't know how your health is going to improve. You might be in a situation where you don't even know how to open your mouth to praise, but I'm telling you to do it anyhow. Praise God anyhow. Lift up your voice and praise him. Why? Because he is due your praise. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you woke up this morning, Andre Battles. What matters is that you ate this morning, Andre Battles. What matters is that you've got food on your table and in your refrigerator. What matters is you've got a car to drive. What matters is that your heart is still beating. What matters is that you still have Jesus. So at the end of the day, when we look at the blessings we have, and count those rather than counting the negativity and counting the things that we don't have. We always have room to praise. It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what we're going through. Let us praise the Lord. In fact, right now I'm going to pray and I want you to pray with me. And we're in our prayer. We're going to praise God in our prayer in the midst of our valley experience. We're going to lift up our voices to God. We're going to share with him, yes, the things that are molesting our peace. But at the same time, we will not forget to come into his courts with praises and singing and worship. Let us pray. Father God, I am asking you now to receive this praise. I am asking you now, Father God, to hear us as we're praying to you. Lord, we come to you with hard, with, 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 with broken hearts and with hardened emotions towards the way we've been treated and the way things have manipulated itself in our lives. But yet we are not focusing on the storms in life. We're going to focus rather, Father, that you are in the boat with us through the storm. It doesn't matter that negative things have taken place and that we've been denied and that we have been told no. What matters is that you have not denied us and that you are not negative towards us and that in fact you have chosen us and you have called us to be your righteous people upon this earth and have equipped us to do so. It doesn't matter what pain we're suffering through. It doesn't matter what things that may be here to molest our peace. We want to praise you, Father. We want to praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to bring up our praise to another level that we have not yet been before. Father God, in fact, we want to thank you for the blessings and for the negative things that take place because they are all a part of our refinement process. Father God, we are asking that you would speak to us and minister to us where we are hurting. Where we don't understand, make things plain to us. And if it is not your will that things be made plain, let us be at peace. We praise you for the things that we have, the food, the clothing, the love, the affection for your word. We praise you for the fact that we are alive. 
We praise you for the fact that we have opportunity to make yesterday's wrongs right. Father God, we have so much to praise you for that I'm grateful that any and everything that you bring to me was measured before you allow it to come. And Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus for being our friend and our father. For we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. Rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't matter what the judge or what your wife or what your husband, what the court system or what the, 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 your former employer has said to you. You praise anyhow. Be blessed.